before I start the video, I just want to mention that I am actually having a international giveaway of lots of makeup. So to enter my giveaway, you gotta be subscribed to this channel and you got to be following my TikTok, mbk underscore beauty, and then you got to be following my Instagram, mbk underscore beauty underscore. So once you do all that, then you can just DM me that you entered and send a screenshot of you being subscribed to my channel so I can know that you followed all the rules and yeah. The giveaway um, winners will be announced when I hit 500 on Instagram and 100 on Snapchat. I hope you win, bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another Freaky Friday. <clears throat> so today's video, I'm gonna be talking about vampires and a little bit of history and different cultures and things and yeah <laughs> um so let's get started on that happy thank you friday by the way so i'm going to be first starting off with my smashbox photo finish foundation primer so then i'll be going in with my matte uh, makeup forever matte velvet skin foundation don't worry about this, it's just got a little bit of glue at the top. So a vampire is a creature from folklore that um, feeds on the vital essence of the living, so their blood. In European folklore, vampires are the undead creatures that often visit loved ones and cause mischief. Or they cause deaths in the neighborhood because they might go back to, they often go back to where they last lived. So they wore shrouds and were often described as bloated and of a dark, booby, uh essence. They are much different from today's kind of vampire where it's pale and uh, not so much ruby and stuff. It's more cold and pale. And that dates back from the 18th century. So now I'm going with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. So vampire entities have been recorded in the most cultures. The term vampire was popularized in the Western Europe after parts of an 18th century mass hysteria of pre-existing folk, belief in the Balkans in Eastern Europe, that in some cases, now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. And I'll be taking these two shades. Now I'm going in with my Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder. I bought this from Amazon. I'm going to be adding my Milani Baked Bronzer Glow. Don't add too much bronzer because you don't want to be <clears throat> too tanned. So now I'm going to be adding a little bit of the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This is in pearlescent pink. And I bought a new one, but it is upstairs, and I don't want to run upstairs, so this is the last day of using this guy. But I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Blossom Glow. Europe often parts of an 18th century mass hysteria of a pre-existing folk belief in the Balkans and Eastern Europe that in some cases resulted in corpses being staked and people being accused of vampirism. In modern times, the vampire is generally held to be fictitious entities, although belief in the similar 
Similar vampire creatures such as the Chupacabra. Did I say that right? Still persists in some cultures. Early folk believe in vampires has sometimes been ascribed to the ignorance of the body's process of decomp decomposition. Decomposition. Oh my god. Decompos decompos decomposition. Decomposition. After death, now people in pre industrial societies try to rationalize this. Therefore, making the vampire. So, in most cases, uh, vampires are reinvent. reinvent. Revenants. Revenants? Revenants. So, in most cases, vampires are revenants of evil beings, suicide victims, or witches. But they can also be created by a malevolent, 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 malevolent spirit possessing the corpse or by being bitten by a vampire. Belief corpse. Belief in such legends becomes so pervasive that in some areas it's caused mass hysteria and even public execu executions of people believed to be vampires. So I'm gonna do one eye off camera and then I'll be back to do the other. So I am taking the James Charles X Morphe palette. This palette has been very loved and abused as most of the colors of it pan. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be going in with this red shade first. And as you can see here, I just winged it out. So I'm gonna be doing that. And I'm doing that with a Morphe M456. Just packing the color on there. And just winging it out. I'm starting with my crease and then just filling in the lid and then again winging it out. <laughs> So to do my wing, all I do is I drag the product out and then at the tip I just flick it up. And then it gives you a nice little winged shape. So going with the same brush and the same color, I'm just going to put it on my lower lash line. So the causes of vampiric generation were many and varied in original folklore. So in the Celtic and Chinese traditions, any corpse that was jumped over by a, uh, specifically like a dog or a cat, but by an animal, um, was feared to become one of the undead. A body with a wound that had not been treated with boiling water was also at risk. In Russian folklore, vampires said to have had once been witches or people with that rebelled against the Russian Orthodox Church while they were alive. So now going in with just a flat packing brush. It's from a Supernatural collection. I'm going to take the black in the James Charles palette, apply that all over my lid and wing it out as well. So cultural practices often arose that were intended to prevent a recently deceased loved one from turning into the undead. Burying a corpse upside down was widespread as placing the earthy objects such as the scythes or sickles near the grave to satisfy the demons entering the body or to appease the dead uh, so that they would not wish to arise from the coffin. The corpse's mouth may 
to placing an obelisk in the corpse's mouth to pay the toll to cross the river in the underworld. It had been argued that instead the coin was intended to ward off the evil spirits from entering the body, and this may have influenced later vampire folklore. So I applied the lashes. I'm really happy with how the eyes turned out. I think they look really vampire-y, really cool, really dark, really smoky. I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> I'm going to be applying the lipstick. So I'm applying Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Ho Ho Ho. Tradition persisted in modern Greek folklore about the Viro... Vicolacas? in which the wax cross and piece of pottery with the inscription Jesus Christ conquers were placed on the corpse to prevent the body from becoming a vampire. Other methods commonly practiced in Europe include severing the tendons of the knees or placing poppy seeds, millet, or sand on the ground on the, at the gravesite in a presumed uh, vampires. This was intended to keep the vampire occupied all night by counting the fallen grains. So identifying vampires. Many rituals were used to identify the vampire. One method of finding the vampire's grave involved leading a virgin boy through a graveyard of the church grounds on a virgin stallion. The horse would supposedly uh, balk at the grave in the in Balk. <sighs> Balk at the grave in question. Generally, a black horse was required, although in Albania it should be white. Holes appearing in the earth over a grave were taken as a sign of vampirism. Corpses thought to be vampires were generally described as having a better, healthier experience or appearance than expected. Plump and showing little to no signs of decom decomposition. In some cases, when suspected graves were opened, villagers even described the corpses as having uh, fresh blood from the victim all over its face. Evidence that the vampire was active in the given locally intended included death of cattle, sheep, relatives, or neighbors. Folklore vampires could also make their presence felt by engaging in a minor, minor poltergeist style activity, such as hurling stones on roofs or moving household objects and pressing on people in their sleep. So, protection. Items able to ward off the demons are common in vampire folklore. Garlic is a common example. A branch of wild rose, a hawthorn are able to harm vampires, and in Europe, sprinkling mustard seeds on the roof of the house was said to keep them away. So some other things are sacred items, for example, a crucifix, rosary, or holy water. Vampires are said to be unable to walk on concentrated ground or consecrated, consecrated, consecrated ground, such as churches or temples or cross running water. Others have been used to ward off vampires when placed facing outwards on a door. In some cultures, vampires do not have a reflection and sometimes do not cast a shadow, perhaps as a manifestation of a vampire's lack of soul. So I'm just going to be taking my e.l.f. liquid black liner and I'm just going to be drawing a cute little upside down cross, little eye tattoo thing. This attribute is not universal. Um, the Greek was capable of both reflection and shadow. But was used as was used as bleh, but was used by Bram Stoker in Dracula, and was re remade remained popular with sub subsequent authors and filmmakers. So some traditions also hold that vampires cannot enter a house unless invited by the owner. After the first invitation, they can come and go as they please. Through folklore, vampires were believed to be more active at the night and were not generally considered vulnerable to sunlight. So going back in with the James Charles palette, I'm just going to be going in with a little bit of the red again. A little bit of this pink and a little bit of the black. 
and I'm just gonna make little vampire bites on my neck. I'm going to be taking the zombie palette and I'm going to be taking 99% alcohol going in with come on. this shade right here and a little bit of this shade. I'm going to be drawing veins around light. So methods of destroying suspected vampires was staking a hawthorn. Uh, Crisis cross was made to. So some methods were staking and a hawthorn, or putting Crisis cross against them. So potential vampires were most often staked through the heart. Um, Throat of the mouth was targeted in Russia and northern Germany, and in the stomach in northern uh, eastern Siberia. Piercing the skin of the chest was a way to be deflating the bloated vampire. This is a similar practice of anti vampire burial, um, burning sharp, sharp objects such as the sickles with the corpses so that they may penetrate the skin if the body bloats. Um, to end up turning into a vampire. So also decapitation was a preferred method in Germany um, with the head buried between the feet behind the buttocks or away from the body. This uh, was seen as a way of hastening and departure of the soul. Romanian people drove steel or iron needles into the corpse's heart and placed bits of the steel in the mouth, over the eyes, ears, and between the fingers at the time of the burial. They also placed a hawthorn in the corpse's sock or drove a hawthorn stake through the legs. So there are many different uh, types of vampires, types of um, traditions, types of ways, like they there's many different ways of getting rid of them, um, trying to keep them buried, all those different things, and it varies between different cultures and uh, religions and stuff. So this was a little bit about each religion, each culture with, uh, with their beliefs and everything, so I hope you enjoyed that. So now to finish the look, I'm going to be adding a little bit of demon blood. So apparently there are vampires living among us and they are called the real life vampires. They uh, don't go out in the morning, they feed on people, they'll actually have donors I've heard that will make a wound in their skin or something and then that vampire will drink from the wound or sometimes they'll like package it up and drink it later. Um, you can. I just searched up vampires and so many of those things came up and I think it's pretty cool like, if that's what you're into, if that's what you're into. And yeah. So this is my final vampire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and learned a little bit more about vampires. It is really hard to talk with these teeth in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other kinds of videos. Um, and yeah, so don't forget to enter my giveaway and comment down below what other videos you'd like to see. And if you'd like to follow me on other social medias, my Instagram is mbk underscore beauty underscore and my TikTok is mbk underscore beauty. Thanks for watching. Bye.